talking with Tosi. I tell her that I'll never drive EV. But I'm a stand up guy. Beans and cheese, I eat them every night. Are you redacted to? Are you redacted to? Ain't got no sink to piss. I hope I get the mother shit. Joe knows I'm weak. Won't somebody just freaking book me? One take. Stop the back. Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shop. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Um, as always, join the Patreon, join the Discord, join the Reddit. The last Patreon we did was an extra episode, right? Yeah, we watched hey. T-Fat K. Oh, that's right. We watched a T-Fat K episode. It's pretty funny. We watched the, it's always, haphazard, a, a pro, prolific chef always says, all you need to really watch is the first five minutes. Yeah. And there's something gold. And he was right, indeed. Yep. And uh, we uh, both went on vacation for a little while, so we'll yeah. be back with the motherfucking... Uh, special reviews this week. Yeah. And also early access will be a little bit late, obviously, because we're recording it now. Mm-hmm. So but normally it's early access of this show. But anyways, that's not why you're here. Oh, but April 27th, you're going to be at Flappers Comedy Club, dude. Oh, that's right. If you follow us outside of this show, you know I've been talking shit about Flappers for probably like 10 or 12 years. Now, <laughs> yeah. you know, since basically since the club opened up. Since you met Coco. It's a little a place in Burbank, California. Ever heard of it? It's Blockbuster. But anyways, <laughs> that's not why you're here. Oh, well, April 27th. April 27th, though. Yeah. So check that out, if they let me through the doors. But, uh, so, that is not, one last time, <laughs> that's not why they're here. They're here to watch uh, 10 Minutes of Shab, so start the timer, play the chin clip. All righty, so, first chick we got today, Clint, is going to be <laughs> posted by Krakinski. Uh, it's called, If Check Engine Was a Person, and it's a picture of Papa Daddy. Yeah, the sunglasses are always so funny to me. Yeah. It's like, Jama- like, re- like, uh, Rastafarian sunglasses a little bit there. They're just too big. They're too big as well. Yeah. I mean, I know he's silly, but that's just too big. And then the, I don't like people that groom their beards. You know? <laughs> oh, you really are against grooming? I, I usually just grow I'm my shocker. I'm shocked. Crazy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but let, so do you, he has a lot of sunglasses, right? Do right. you think he has more shoes or sunglasses? Ooh, million dollar question, deity. <laughs> Um, oh my God. I didn't think you'd stump me this early in the episode. I'm going to have to say shoes, dude. He has to have more shoes. He's a sneakerhead, daddy. Yeah, you're probably right. But it'll be easier to have a lot of sunglasses. I feel like sunglasses, are they cheaper than shoes? No, no, I'm, I'm double thinking. Not when you're shop. Double thinking that. Yeah, you're double thinking that. <laughs> so second. <laughs> well, and then what, what about these gold chains, daddy? It's like a hard rock Nick thing or whatever. Yeah. hard rock Chris. Or hard rock Chris. Is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything Shab does is ridiculous. Yeah. We're hating on the man. He's just trying to live. Yeah. He's just trying to live, B. He's just trying to live his motherfucking life, man. Come on, man. It's just a picture, B. All right, this one's posted by Bapa Bink. It's called, Looks Like Rogan Just Confirmed the Residency. Um, A lot of talk of this on the Changs. Okay, so Joey's ba- he's back in, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Not Shab, though. Yeah. Well, Shab didn't suck his dick for five minutes in the mothership. <laughs> so do you think Joey sucked his own dick? Yeah. He's like, if I got to get in this club, I got to fucking be ready to suck dick. I'm going to suck my own dick for 15 minutes of the residency. The motherfucker ship, Austin, Texas, motherfucker. He sucks his own dick and he's like, I still only get five minutes. I'm a fucking whore. <laughs> I suck my own dick. I take Ozempic. Ozempic. My fucking, you know what I'm saying? I think, uh, I think uh, Joey Coco Diaz is uh, Shab's in, dude. He starts Two. greasing up Joe Rogan. He's like, listen, I got a friend, uh, Brendan Schaub. <laughs> He's uh, excellent down there, downstairs. You yeah. know? He could put in a word for Brendan. He could be like, listen, I've been seeing him. He's doing pretty good lately. Yeah. He's now the gringo poppy. What did they think Brendan's going to do? Mm-hmm. I mean, he's just started. Come yeah. Three weeks ago. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe. I I hope uh, I hope those shows went well for Joey. Great, yeah. great guy. I never met him. Let's see. This is the first video clip. I think this is an old school clip, but it's uh, liked a lot on Chang's. It's posted by Astro Creep 5 Coup. 
It's uh, that time when Thor Jornson called Brendan out for lying about 225.40. I go, but football, it's just <laughs> different. We don't really match up Damn. to that extent, you know? I go, our thing's 225. And he goes, oh, yeah, you guys do 225. We have the Combine Pro Day, we do 225. I go, you ever done 225? He goes, yeah, so much you did. He goes, uh, I think he said a few months ago he did 40. Or he, I think maybe 36. I go, oh, cool. He goes, what's the most you did? I go, uh, last summer I did 40. And his face changed. He goes, you beat me. I go, I guess. I mean, dude. I've, <laughs> no, you could, that, your answer is, well, you have longer arms. No, I, I was like, you know, you have so much harder. So like, yeah, Kellen. But, you know, in there right? So bit. I'm so much lighter. But Why but, is it not stopping? Callan did, uh, did a little bit of a, a cat bit there with the longer arms thing. You oh, know? yeah. And, uh, Brent, uh, freaking Brendan used to do that. It was like, well, this is too short arms, dude. You can't even live or whatever. <laughs> or whatever he said. I may be misremembering. But oh, think, six foot. There's something count. about a short guy. Yeah, doesn't count. Yeah. And then the short guy, uh, Griffin or whatever it was, he was like lifting a lot. Yeah. And he was like, look at his short arms. He can't lift or whatever. The thing is, is I said, it's it's a conditioning thing. It's a rep thing. I was trained for it. And I said, now, at the combine with count all those reps, I wasn't fully extended. And he goes, oh, I was fully extended. I go, yeah, so yours probably better. But I did 40, no matter what you say, I did 40. And he goes, cool, do it now. We'll film it. I'll mean you go. We'll do it now. I went, he got competitive. Yeah, I went, <laughs> I'm not doing that now. I go, dude, I just got done deadlifting and pulling a truck. I'm not going to do it now. He goes, no, yeah. do it now. I go, Thor, I'm not doing it now. And then I have to get stern. I go, Thor? Game, games of Thorn? Thorn? Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Game of Thor? Thorns? <laughs> Thrones? <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it's, it's awesome when he messes up words. I mean, it's, it takes a certain amount of confidence, so I'm just realizing this now, to do a show with, nicotine in your mouth like that yeah just with like stuff in your mouth essentially food is in your <sighs> mouth i just told How you do you do that i tried zen for the first time i cannot imagine having three of those in my mouth dude right because it what does it make you high or something or you just uh, you will overdose on nicotine that's insane <laughs> you know me i love fucking vaping smoking cigarettes i'm yeah. a i'm a fucking dirty little boy dude but if right. i put three pouches in my mouth at the same time I don't, I don't, I, th- I think that's equivalent to doing DMT. That's insane. So it like affect your brain. You won't um, be able to like communicate as well. No, just this super heavy dose of nicotine. Cause remember how he said it makes you smarter when you did the Zen, did you feel like you were like, you know, a, you could podcast for a living or talk for a living? Definitely not, dude. Right. I, I mean, I was playing golf and I had a terrible game of golf. <laughs> the way you played worse. Like golf. Yeah. Zen fucked your golf game up. I hit like 39 over par on, on nine on no. the front nine. I went 39 over. Okay. I'm not a numbers guy. So that means nothing to me. First time trying Zen, dude. Damn. Well, Zen, you're blog yeah, you Don't dude. help with golf. <laughs> and it was an easy course too. It's like, I should have done a lot better. When you had it in your mouth, did it change the way you talked at all? No. Cause I'm used to, I've done dip before. Right. You know, I, I'm very well acquainted with nicotine and yeah. like, you know, Talking with stuff in my mouth, pause. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like sunflower seeds and shit like that. Whatever. Right. Um, no, it's just fucking strong as shit. He looks weird with the stuff in his mouth. I was he was making like weird motions with his mouth mm-hmm. while Brian was talking. He was like like <laughs> positioning the stuff. And I just think that's such a strange choice to do that while you're podcasting. But maybe we should like do one episode where I put food in my mouth or something. I don't want to put dip in there. Because I've never dipped and I don't really have any interest in it. I feel like it's kind of, I don't judge you if you do it, but for me, I would feel like I'd probably throw up or something because you, you know, the first time you do it, it's, it does that, right? Yeah. It doesn't taste good. We should do Rogue Nicotine, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we get a certain amount of subscribers on Patreon, maybe I'll do Rogue Nicotine <laughs> one time and put it in my mouth and see if I can podcast like that. Boner? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this. All right. I forgot Game what we're doing. Thor, it's not happening. Hey, Game of Thor's. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. Let's go back once. Just like this little... Fl- Game, Games of Thorn, Thorn, right? Not happening. Games of Thor, it's not happening. And he goes, <laughs> okay, that's fine. I go, yeah, dude, you're, we're not going to do this. This is stupid, dude. And then he goes, all right, tomorrow morning, meet me here, we'll do it. I went, all right, dude. I got his face. We're friends at this point. I got his face. I go, Thor. You, you loved him, right? He's a great guy. I absolutely fell in love with him. Didn't even meet I got his face. I went, Thor, I can't emphasize enough. I and don't give a shit how strong you are. <laughs> and I'm not going to meet you here tomorrow. He started laughing. I go, dude, I, I don't do any of this anymore. I said, I don't care. I, I want to meet him. He sounds great. We got to get dude. him on the podcast. It's just so easy not to fucking flex on somebody that does that shit for a living. It's a, it's a weird thing to be like, yeah, I can. 
I guess this is the world's strongest man, right? He's Thor. talking to Thor, I'm assuming from the name. And then he's the Game of Thrones guy. Yeah, the mountain. If he's like, uh, yeah, man, I can lift like more than you can. If he just did that with other people, anytime he sees somebody, he's kind of like, um, you know, Judah Friedlander has like the world's champion and, he, and they ask him what, and he's just like, I'm the champion. Mm. And they does bits about it, but obviously he's not the best at everything. Yeah. He's doing that, but he's serious. Like, he's just like, I can lift. He's like, Mag- Magneto, Days of Future 7, past Magneto, dude. Mag- 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 <laughs> just, I'm trying to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, messing up his name. Yeah. Days of Future Magneto, past <laughs> there Magneto. That's a better one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I hate one-uppers, dude. One-uppers suck my cack, dude. True. Uh, let's see here. I, that was very shocking me to say suck my cack, but let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's our girl. We got Tulsi Gabbard up in. Dude, yeah, why crazy. is she going on the podcast? Not a good look for her, I don't think. I mean, if you want to be taken seriously as a politician or person in the the political field to go on TFK yeah. seems like a step down. Do you think they use the Reddit numbers to be like, we got 156,000 fans on Reddit? Or maybe she's just, they might, or maybe she's just a big fan of the show. Yeah. She likes the, she likes Shab. <laughs> he does have a black belt in podcast. Everybody <laughs> knows him, right? Yeah. Like, what was the thing he did with the cell phone where he was like, oh yeah, the guy in the cell phone was talking about knowing him or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that happened with Tulsi. Let's see here. I haven't seen any of these clips. I just saw yeah, that Tulsa's on. I have seen a lot of them. Either. And I'm like, let's go, Daddy. She kind of looks like she could be in the X-Men. She's got that. Oh, thing. yeah. She's got rogue yeah. bit of vibes on her. Maybe that's how but they were comic books wise. He thought that that was the real life rogue. Oh, yeah. He, that's, who he, that's who he thinks he's interviewing. Rogue, rogue Nicotine. From X-Men. <laughs> and he likes Rogue Nicotine. <laughs> this is, uh, and you know, he's fired so many people, so he has his own batch of X-Men, dude. X- he thinks this is Lex. x gaze. <laughs> <laughs> But well, them demonizing you, it just shows how X-Men. crazy and maddening the Democratic Party is because you check all the boxes that they want. Female. Yeah. <laughs> you check all the boxes that they want. <laughs> Jamal I like seeing, came out there for a second. <laughs> yeah. I like seeing Shab's understanding of politics too. Yeah. He's going to break down his philosophy. You know, he's, he's put a lot of time. He's read some. Yeah. Some, you know, Heigl and, and some political theory. Well, you know, he had a phase where he was balls deep in the law, dude. For oh, for sure. sure. 100%, yeah. Dude. Veteran. Yeah. Color. You a know, veteran. <laughs> but that, that checks every them. single box. But that scares yeah. them. So when, the, when, the, and the, you know, female. So it's like, well, this is what you guys want. Yeah. And then they demonize you. It's like, yeah. oh, this isn't, they're not about making a change. Yeah, no. This isn't good. No, they're about control and power. But my, my question for you, Tulsi, which I don't understand, is like <laughs> with the extreme, like, w- wokeness and the, the, the far left. Like how's it go- how's it going? Like what's the plan? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like great question. Like for for anyone that votes, and I, you know, I, I think most politicians are corrupt and it's a little dicey. So I, you know, I don't <laughs> pick sides there really, but sure as hell don't pick left. Yeah. But my thing with that is, <laughs> if someone's going to vote yeah. that way, how how can they continue to vote that way when you look at the blue states? It's a disaster. Yeah. So I I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> His rhythm of speech is so annoying because it's just never ending. And then when yeah. he starts to think of something else, he's going to say it. And he talks in this way that it's just never ending. Yeah. And I can't even replicate it myself because, <laughs> I mean, I would never vote blue. Right. <laughs> Again, you're, you know, you check all the box, check out the boxes. <laughs> He really doesn't give the person any chance to answer. And he also doesn't, not only does he not give them a chance to answer, but there's not even really a question. Yeah. It's just a statement. It's kind of like he's gadooshing you while feigning a question. He did gadoosh her a little bit. Yeah. Because he was like, you know, a politician, I don't trust them at all. I mean, they're not great. (laughs) She's a politician. (laughs) He doesn't even realize that. Yeah. He's like, you're here, so you're a podcast guest now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Tulsi, what is that? Like <laughs> Oklahoma with sauce on? <laughs> and even if you are, you know, pro blue and you want to go left, like what's the benefits? Because look at how it's like <laughs> my only question yes, for those people that, that vote that way is how's it going? Like right. what good has come out of the Biden cabinet? Like we're in a, it's a disaster right now. Yeah. Nowhere safe. We defunded the police. Mm-hmm. Crime's up. Homeless is up. Like we're not doing well. Homeless, homeless is, is up. up. Homeless is up. He knows that. <laughs> Oh, he knows that. Yeah. That's what he's really mad about. Homeless mm-hmm. being up. 
He's like homeless. Homeless is so bad. Cats are getting homeless, He's dude. Like, Do you know about Reddit? Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> asked her about Reddit. That's the real question at the very end. He's like, have you ever heard of Reddit? <laughs> it's all full of blue people who are left. <laughs> you know, that's Biden's cabinet. What's good has come out of Biden's cupboard. And that's the show, guys. He doesn't even get the chance to answer. So I just don't see how they can keep leaning into that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he said like 10 things. What is she supposed to say to that? Yeah, There's so many things to respond to there. <laughs> Leave it like, give him, give her one question, dude. Do you want to? She's going to ask Jay. She's got that ask Jay face on, you know, <laughs> yeah. she's going to call the hotline. Jay's waiting behind yeah. her just like. I'm ready anytime you need me. <laughs> uh, do you want to try to answer the questions he's asking as we could like stop and pause? Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, that's a good bit. And if it doesn't work out, then fucking we'll get a good douche this part, dude. Ready? Well, Them demonizing you, it just shows how crazy and maddening the Democratic Party is because you check all. Oh, fuck. He hasn't uh, asked any questions wait, yet. All the boxes that they want. Okay, now. Is that a question, do you think? Yeah, but, I, would, I would be like, okay, you're saying I check all the boxes. Because I'm a woman and I'm a person of color, is that what you're asking? And then I would female. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. And I'm yeah. I was gonna. Is, oh, so yeah. you finished talking? I don't. Yeah. I, I. What would you? What would you say to that? I would be like, yeah. Thank you very much, Brendan. I. I do believe I do check all the boxes. Uh, I would be a great candidate for uh, the Democratic Party. Uh, bleed blue, baby. Wait for and then <laughs> Brendan sucks, right? All she was able to say <laughs> is superficially. <laughs> she said that. Yeah, she was like superficially. Let's see. Superficially, Female, yeah. Veteran, yeah. Color, oh, veteran. you know. But veteran, <laughs> but that, that scares every them. single box. But that scares yeah. them. So when the, when the, and the, you know, female. So it's like, well, this is what you guys want. Yeah. Okay. And then here's what I would say. I would say, yes, Brennan, I do check every blocks. Um, I a lot of this, like, but here's the thing. A lot of the Democratic Party, we uh, we all know it, and I I'm gonna get some hate for saying this. Probably there'll probably be some comments. They're blog boss, mm. right? Because I'm someone who, if you elect me, I'm going to show up seven times a week, okay? And I'm going to be different. Oh, Dallas, mm. my policies will be different, mm -hmm. okay? Dallas, if lock, if you had a lockdown with me, dude, <laughs> it was just me and... If we were locked down in Congress with me and the bros, bro, Dallas, papi, okay? That shit would be spicy. <laughs> We'd fuck each other. I represent all 50 states, but I love you, Texas. There you go, dude. There it is. All right, That's then, all you need. So let's see. And they demonize you. It's like, yeah. oh, this isn't, they're not about making a change. No, no. This isn't good. No, they're about control and power. But my, my question for you, Tulsi, which I don't understand, is like with the extreme like the wokeness and the, the, the far left, like how's it, go how's it going? Like Pause. what's... Okay, how's it going? I like how he says my question is, and I don't understand it. Yeah. So right away, he's letting you know he doesn't know what the question is asking, <laughs> yeah. that he's asking. So uh, how's it going, though? How's wokeness? it going, though? How's the wokeness, how's going? wokeness going? That's kind of a, a gadouche. It's like, what's it like being, or how's it going being fucking woke? Yeah, because she used to be a Democrat, so she's woke. She's part of the wokeness, right? Yeah, well, she's a Democrat, right? No, now she's an independent, Oh. I believe. Or maybe a Republican. I'm not sure mm. at this point. Both she sees it both ways. Oh, okay, you know she's weighing both options. But how's it going? She's um, a Democrat with salsa on. <laughs> yeah, not too good, man. I mean, look at look at what Biden's America has done. In Biden's America, dude, there are the shop doesn't even do stand up anymore. Okay, where are you, Joe? Step in. Yeah. All he does is shows in California, maybe sometimes, and then he has a residency to cancel it because people are getting pregnant left and right. Tarek, Legs, fucking Brad, or whatever the fuck. Marg. Mark. <laughs> dude, it's like, step in, dude. Bad. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Brian's fucking pregnant again. What the heck? Isn't he like know. 80 years old? He's like 800 kids, dude. There's going to be a Callan army. Yeah. <laughs> the plan. <laughs> Cox, nobody does. You know what I'm saying? Like, great question. Like, for, for anyone that votes, and, I, you know, I, I think most politicians are corrupt, and it's a little... Okay, you can... He hasn't asked a question. Oh, okay, okay. There's okay. no question. I mean, it would be funny if he was like, real quick, though, how many chicks you fuck? Oh, like, oh yeah. He yeah. could do that, but yeah. you know, I leave, he's a comedian genius. He pulls that whenever he wants. <laughs> Dicey. So, I, you know, I don't pick sides there, really, but sure as hell don't pick left. Yeah. But my thing with that is, if someone's going to vote that way, how how can they continue to vote that way when you look at... There's a question. Yep, there's a question. How do you continue to vote Democrat? I mean, you don't. I mean, I, if I could do a time machine, I would go back to when Trump was president and the gringo poppy just came out. Mm -hmm. Did it come out when he was president? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, fuck. 2021, 2022, something like that. 
All right. Well, that was one good thing that was good about the Biden presidency. Yeah. 22, I think 2022. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah. Hey, my brain's blockbuster. <laughs> the blue states, it's a disaster. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just, again, a statement. He says all blue states are a disaster. <laughs> he lives in California. <laughs> yeah. He lit. That's where he chose to live. Yeah. <laughs> he likes, I mean, someone's got to be there to fucking, when the shit hits the fan, save everybody. He already pulled the chick out of the car. Yeah. With like a family or whatever. So. Excuse me, ma'am. How many chicks do you fuck? The roads aren't safe. I, I just don't flipping their trucks. Yeah, understand. Even if you are, you know, pro blue and you want to go left, like what's the benefits? Because what's the benefits if you're pro blue and you want to go left? What does he say? Uh, pro blue, pro blue, and you want to pro blue and you want to go left, like like vote left, I guess. Mm, what's the benefits? The benefit. Um, Remember, you're Tulsi Gabbard. You're not Brandon Cooney. Oh, okay. If I'm Tulsi Gabbard. That, if I'm Tulsi Gabbard, then I would say you're absolutely right, Brennan. I mean, look, just look around. the le The left, what do they do? They just they're haters. They're like homeless people. I, why would you even pay yeah. attention to what they think? Like, they like, have a profile of a cat. The left ain't got no magic mind. Oh, the left. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. The left has no merch. Yeah, they're sleeping on cardboard boxes, not fucking Helix mattresses, deity. What time do they wake up? If you're a Democrat, what time do you wake up? Four thirty-five. <laughs> Exactly. Yep. <laughs> They're yep. not stopping any of our enemies, dude. Nope. 434 fucking uh, Russia and ISIS are waking up at 434 or 435 too. <laughs> <laughs> 435 as well. And you're waking up at the same time, dude. <laughs> Good luck with that. Check yourself, daddy. <laughs> Look at how it like my only question for those people that vote that way is how's it going? Like right. what good has come out of the Biden cabinet? Like we're in a, it's a disaster right now. Yeah. Dude. Nope. Do you think he really knows what a cabinet is? I was just going to say the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think probably, but it'd be funny to ask him to define, be like, tell me yeah. about what, what do you, your, develop more of your point on this, what this cabinet. Who are the it. members of the cabinet? He's yeah, like, name one. He's like, you got cup, bowl, plate. <laughs> he's like, there's that fuck it. There's that chick that fucks or whatever. <laughs> At the top of my cabinet, I got a strainer. Oh, okay, dude, like you're actually going literal cabinet, utensils. Yeah. Well, what That's do you, when you fucking know the think CT hurt shop's too, gonna do, dude? <laughs> There's a banana in there. <laughs> Thinking about putting my fork in the cabinet, but it's in the shelf uh, with the drawer. Damn it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Let's go on from that fucking bullshit. This is uh, another Astro Creep Scoo one. It's Brendan is spinning the narrative that he knows details on the Diddy raid. Oh shit. Do you want to guess? That's or? amazing that he's doing that. I know. Every time. Do you want to guess what details? Um, no, I I couldn't even imagine. I'm assuming he knows a chig. Oh, like he like a girl that's involved yeah. DM'd him? Yeah. Or he knows her from fighting and black belt and podcasting stuff, okay. you know? Is raided. Both houses raided. The uh, are hilarious. I have a friend who is involved with it. What do you have a friend Close. who's involved with? Friend who no, was involved fr he's friends with Mace. With <laughs> <laughs> no, with uh, someone who's That'd doing the rating. Collab. One of the guys doing the rating. Uh, really? He's friends hey. with one of the cops. Oh, oh shit. You've already said shit. too much. Yeah. Eh, hey. I, I mean, I'm not going to give you any details. Yeah, yeah, you will. Off, you will. Uh, off air, I will. Listen, it, off air, it, I until, take they, out. until they put out that there's a warrant for his arrest and he has to turn himself in, this is nothing. Just wait. Okay. Oh, you think the feds raid two houses for the fucks of it? No, I'm the fucks of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be something you remember. For the fucks of it. <laughs> I'm just saying, though they they're raiding. And he jumped on something. a plane, a private plane. It doesn't even matter what you say back to Brendan. You feel stupid. Yeah, being in a conversation with him. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you were to look at me and go, "Oh, you think I just podcast for the fucks of it?" I feel like an <laughs> idiot, dude. <laughs> when you did it like that, you sound like Delia. Oh. I think, who was it saying? Oh, yeah. Tezos was saying that Brennan just basically does like a dumber version of Dalia. Yeah. I think that was, you just proved it right there. <laughs> I love the idea of Department of Homeland Security being like, all right, we called you into this meeting because one of you assholes <laughs> talked to Brennan Shop. Yeah. Which one was it? Yeah. Who, do, who, who DM Brennan Shop? Famous comedian. <laughs> We're not leaving this room until you fess up. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, let's see here. Where were you on the day they were filming the Gringo Poppy? <laughs> uh, this one's posted by Money Loan 1864. As he's saying that, Rogue Nicotine falls out of one of their pockets on the floor. He's like, Jim, <laughs> Jim. you fucking asshole. I knew it. <laughs> that was too much rain energy for one man. Uh, this is a uh, post by Money Loan 1864. It's called Reheated Dish, but I swear to God, this is the moment Rinks knew Bapa was helpless. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm not Jewish, so he talks to me. <laughs> oh. True. <laughs> what else you got, Jen? <laughs> Do you know have you have you met Kanye? <clears throat> yes. What about him, dude? Have you talked to him? Spent time mm-hmm. with him? Mm-hmm. He knows who you are. <laughs> well, I doubt it. <laughs> Probably just a white boy with a face, man. Or he might <laughs> with a face. Mm-hmm. I'm not Jewish, so he talks to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> True. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh man. Jen. Hopefully that was alive, dude. <laughs> Even George is like, what the fuck? What are we doing here, man? <laughs> George is, a, I'm going to lose my job. Yeah. George is like, I'm getting a vibe. I'm going to get fired soon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if this is what they do on the show. Yeah. Um, oh, damn. All right. Well, let's go on. That was an awkward one. Uh, this one's posted by Haphazard and one of our guys. It's called okay. being on the front of a magazine is a pretty big deal. Let's see here. Dude, I know we had Tulsi here, but don't treat me different, dude. Don't treat me any different. Well, what do you mean? Dude, I'm I'm just <laughs> a normal guy. Whatever do you I'm mean? I'm a normal guy, dude. Uh, did you go viral again? No, well, <laughs> typically week to week I do. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah. But I'm on a magazine cover. <laughs> You're on a magazine cover? <laughs> yeah, bro. Bring this don't up. Why don't I know about different. this? <laughs> Let me see this. I'm going to get magazine subscriptions are still very <laughs> big. It, I read magazines. Is it man? Is it man, man? What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah. I'm a plus size Street model. Trucks. I'm a damn dude. Yeah. They don't just put people on uh, magazines for the fucks of it. <laughs> yeah. But how does he do it? For the, <laughs> for the fucks of it. <laughs> You're good at that. <laughs> Yeah, That's man. This, I this want to be street, good yeah, no, yeah, probably not. <laughs> street trucks magazine. They just went Baja mode. Street maybe. trucks. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I just, I've never heard of this magazine. Street Trucks, a Street Fighter. Can you get this in? Do you, what if you were in Ralph's and you saw this? Fucking die laughing. Well, you would see this seven days ago in an Australian Ralph's. Is it an Australian magazine? No. Oh, no, yeah. Seven Jesus days ahead. fucking yeah. Christ, dude. <laughs> Plus size model now. You think I say seven days ahead for the fucks of it? <laughs> it would be funny, though, if it was an Australian magazine. Be like just some... Like a random country. He's like, I'm on their drug magazine. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I wish your shirt was off. Can I ask you a question? I wish your Could shirt they have done a off. better job with their Photoshop of having you in the truck? It looks like you're, you've been what photoshopped you against that. No, it's a whole photo that. shoot. Go back um, that's that. me leaning on my truck. It's a uh, reel, so I can't really it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's great, dude. That's the lightning with the new paint job. That's the lightning. Well, now, what, what would they Still call in the that? shop. Not going to lie to you guys. Back in the shop. Oh, it is? Well, too much power on that thing oh, causes some power. issues. So we're figuing it out. Okay. Full Throttle Customs is going to do their blue thing. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, people usually say, like, the stuff that you need to fix. Like, transmission's a little fucked up. And, you know, I'm going to have to get some new suspension, you know. But for him, it's like, Kibbit Tech is going to do it. Full yeah. Throttle's going to work their magic. He knows way, way uh, too many, co- like, cr- truck and car companies, man. Yeah. Overkill, Full Throttle. Kibitech, how many things do you have to go to? <laughs> These guys are just like, dude, Brandon, we're we got uh, too much going on. You got to go over to Buzz Buzz Motors or whatever. He's like, I'm back here. Buzz Motors is gonna do it, or maybe he just goes to every one of them and they give him a deal. I don't know. I'm That's saying truck guys usually say what they're fixing, not the people that are fixing it. Oh, we, oh, like you mean the company? I think he's doing the company because they're hooking them. I think yeah. that's probably the thing. Yeah. Yeah. But he uh, he doesn't know what the fuck. He, oh right, yeah, he has no idea what yeah, they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, he's like got the hood redone. Let's see here. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. Street Fighter, and and there you are. Why didn't you get yourself into a pair of uh, sh- hot shorts and and drape over the fucking hood? Did no, they, I should have dressed like I do uh, when I was in high school. I would have had you eat a banana slowly. Oh, you know what I mean? That's racist. Draped over the uh, no, <laughs> it's, it's homosexual. <laughs> Mm, kind of right. <laughs> Eat a banana. Look at the barrel of bananas, <laughs> dude. No, oh, we'd like to see. That's so funny, dude. That they. That's that is the show right there. Mm-hmm. Is it racist or is it homosexual? Mm-hmm. That's what th- they always have to choose. But now 
there's that's the main argument now. It's like do, what they came to the to a head. Yeah. Is it more gay or racist what they just said? They're gonna start writing jokes every week and say it to each other and be like, racist. <laughs> yeah. No, homophobic. We dude. gotta have both, man. Yeah. Or nothing. <laughs> Eight inches. There's no show without either one of those things. <laughs> you sprint around that's the, the car. That's the last thing I was thinking of. Well, we want to see you explode because you're so athletic. No, that's the last Bananas, thing. I was, athletic. I was saying you'd lie on the thing in hot shorts eating a banana. That's suggestive. Oh, I got you. Right. I don't know these days. Uh, but don't treat me any different, <laughs> dude. Be on a, from a magazine's pretty big deal, man. I've been truck. sitting on this for a while, dude. Street, Street truck. truck. It's different now. Things are, are you different. the guy on the cover of Street Truck? <laughs> oh my God, yes, I am, bro. Yeah, dude. you're leaning against the the lightning that's, that's in the me. shop. That's me, dude. And you're you're the other guy with your one foot out of the. Yeah. Passenger door. That's me, dude. I know, dude. Don't street truck. I know, dude. Things there, are different oh, now. Oh man, it almost looks like you're on two wheels, but you're actually on four wheels there. I know. Was things are different now, dude? Isn't the lightning the truck that was a lemon? Is this the same one? Probably. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't count. Doesn't make sense. Why would they take a picture with a truck that sucks? Well, he fixed it. He had all his uh, homeboys fix it. Right. That's what. Um, Whatever, over, not overkill, full throttle, fixed it for him. Those Latinos over there, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we watched it on the Patreon, I think. Man, dude, it's it's too much. This is all so confusing. It's just so dumb. It's just so fucking dumb, dude. He's really sticking to this narrative, though. He's committing to the bit. I'll give him that. I hate how the fucking truck scene is just welcoming him, too. Yeah, I. they are kind of doesn't seem, it does seem like that. Although there was that one thing where Kibitech responded on the comment where they're oh, like, yeah. we don't sponsor anybody. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. They're pushing back a little bit on the painted narrative. I mean, how did we get that sticker? Though? Right. They sent uh, me a note. Allegedly, they don't. Somebody on their team has been messaging me, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. Somebody who works there. Somebody I'm wrote gonna, you a letter. I'm not going to say, yeah, I'm not going to say who they are, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, what is it called? You think that he just writes letters for the fucks of it? <laughs> No, absolutely dude. not, dude. No, and you, I love that shot of just the car on a cliff. Oh, yeah, we were in, uh, like, off Mulholland. Sure. And it was rainy as hell. I can see that. It was not <laughs> Ground's easy. Ground's wet. It was not, and that car Everything is on slick. so dangerous, dude. <laughs> why, is it, why does he have to fucking color things like that? Yeah, that's probably a lie, yeah. It's like, you could just be like, and it was raining. Yeah, it was crazy. But he's like, it was rainy as hell. Hell's hot. He's high, he heightens things yeah. like he's in a UCB class or something. Yeah. He's an improv guy. <laughs> Does not do well in the rain. The shoes match the truck. The you golden goose. Like it, I wish I said that was intentional, but just it just happened. It just things now, aligned. Dude. Is there a name for that orange? Is Did it, he say daddy? I think he said dude that time. Oh okay. I wish he had said daddy. I'm waiting for that boner alert too. They never do that anymore, dude. They, st they put it to rest. <laughs> they put, oh here we go, dude. This one's posted by Technical Gap forty five eighty one. It's called Mount Rushmore in Ether Island. <laughs> Photoshop. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Pretty good job. So many. That's too many Brandons. You telling me there's full Brandons <laughs> in the woods? Brandon, bro? Oh, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> uh, okay. So this looks like a reheat. Not a lot of stuff happening in Changs this week. Going to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just Tulsi Gabbard fucking it up over there. Yeah. Uh, this one's called Numbers Man. It's posted by Exo Truck. Now, selfishly, I'm I'm about it. Yeah, hell yeah. I need something to watch. Yeah. Give me the fights. But then when you think about it, it's like, all right, well, let's just go over this card. So there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have twelve fights. Twelve fights. Obviously, you need two people to create a fight. So you have twenty-four fighters. Out of those twenty-four <laughs> fighters, they're allowed to bring two cornermen. So then you got times twenty-four. Plus, they're two corner men, so you, you you know you get a lot of people. <laughs> Selfishly, Why do, do this, dude. Why, Brennan? Just stop. Yeah, or make a joke. Be like, listen, I'm not a math guy. Yeah, dude. Oh. You got a lot. So there's like you know you got a bunch, there's a food truck, right? Mm. <laughs> food truck. When I bought something, I I saw even just then when I started doing the food truck thing, I knew I didn't have anything else to say after that. So yeah. I stopped. Well, it is like three in the morning, Daddy. And I also don't talk for a living. <laughs> yeah, you don't talk for a living. You're a fucking white belt. You do, you get your opening ceremonies, but you're not ready to go black no, belt no, yet. No. no, not at all. Not like Brennan. Mm -mm. All right, let's see here. This one's posted by Hey Mark Wigski. 
It's uh, called Bapa Asks Why Nobody's Attempted in, I think, Assassination on Trump. I think I watched this one. Uh, you're not allowed to put assassination on on way, earwaves? I'm, maybe he like said the word wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Gotten away from. Exactly. What's wild to me, this might be a hot take and we have to edit this, <laughs> let me know. But like back in the day when a president, like if Trump was in the 60s, like, like uh, JFK was, they figured out a way to get rid of him, right? JFK, see you, dude. We're out of here. You go against Cuba and the missile crisis. You're out of Bay of Page. You you're go out against here. Cuba and the missile crisis. <laughs> <laughs> he knows words, but not context, really. Yeah. And like what they are. Yeah. He's just heard things. You don't want to kill the pigs in Cuba. You're out of here, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I can't believe with Trump. They as much as they. There's never been a more hated candidate. There's never been a more hated president from the Democrats than Trump. How there hasn't been some sort of hey, that hey, we know hey, of, bro. Be, Easy, you know what I'm saying though? No, it's it's. I'm going to say, say I, these I, well, rhymes with here, passionation. No, I know, but here's <laughs> <laughs> passionation, dude. I mean, dude, that's what just comedic that? genius, right there, dude. I don't know. That sounds like a, a CT flare up. He's all like, "No, you don't want to contradict the Iranians, dude." Okay. <laughs> You're not trying to play golf on the Tonkin Island, all right? <laughs> Freaking, uh, you're not going to have dessert during a storm. Yeah, I'm not going to say the word, but let's just say it rhymes with abortion nation. Exactly, B. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right? <laughs> think, think about it. Yeah. You know, they were trying to install that wall in Berlin in the 80s, dude. Mm -hmm. So they got that <laughs> done, right? What's the address for Gettysburg? Yeah. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I'm just I'm just asking questions. Yeah, you know the 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 gosh darn the gosh darn Ottomans burnt down the White House in the 1812s. That's I mean that's just something you read in the history books on Wikipedia. Yeah, right? I'm you know just, I'm just saying. What do you think, Tulsi? She's like, <laughs> what am I doing here? Hair. <laughs> what do you think uh, the research he did was before Tulsi came in? Um, like ask Joe. Probably. He just watched Joe Rogan with Joey Diaz and he's like, got it. They talked about a couple <laughs> conspiracy theories, dude. Joe, like, so I was thinking, I'm having Tulsi Gobert on Gabbard and he's like, oh, that's great, Brandon. And he's like, yeah. Um, she's like a congressman and all that, right? She's like, are you asking me if she's a congressman? <laughs> she used to be. <laughs> oh my God. That was, that was funny. This one's uh, called Dunn Count, posted by Haphazard, dude. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully he says it, dude. Me and uh, Jesus have been saying dunk count all oh, fucking yeah. weekend. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's hard not to. Uh, here's another one. This kid, Dwayne Coleman, broke that Louisiana high school record with a 900-pound squat. What? Yeah. Uh, what? Let a refresher. I wish we had our strong man here today, too. Whoa. What? Oops, sorry. That's crazy. That's insane. Look at this kid. Dude, the bar has to bend at some point. What? He doing it for fun. What are Doesn't you even count towards his total. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's so fucking nuts. <coughs> oh, that's Damn, dude. Hey, get the better fucking damn. <laughs> I know. Easy. No, he did pretty easy. Pray get a little more. My question is, uh, how much does he weigh? Easy. I mean, I don't care how much he weighs. That's crazy. He looks big. That's crazy. You know, I wish we knew. <laughs> Why is he trying? What does it even matter? Why? Why? Yeah, like he immediately tries to belittle anything anyone ever does in front of him. Yeah. Why? This is a good. Yes. Yeah, Why, dude? Like he does. It's not. It's like he doesn't like wonder or like achievement or something. Yeah. Everything is in comparison to himself. Almost. Yeah. yeah. What is that? I don't know. That's kind of blockbuster. I gotta, I gotta be honest with Brendan there. Yeah, he may be really fucking good at stand up, but when it comes to yeah. people achieving stuff, he's not a good person to watch it. Maybe he's, maybe he's so when you get to be as talented as he is, yeah. with these things, I was you just some lose some perspective, right? Mm -hmm. You start kind of good douching people for no reason, but it's like it's a little bit of insecurity. But why be, why be insecure, dude? Yeah, I mean, he got a king hat. You know, I don't king. want to say the word, but it, it rhymes with schmomschmidens. What's that? It rhymes with what? confidence. Schmomschmidens? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to make He I said was like, passionation, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude, I'm going to fucking have to work here, dude. 
<laughs> I'm like, what? I'm too tired to figure that shit out. But no, I get it. Passionance. I get it. I get it now. This year, How much you weighed though? Man, his I'm body passionate is not- myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna commit passion eye, dude. Yeah, dude. The kind of body I'd want, but damn, that's crazy. Yeah, like I'd like height. Four hundred and sixty-two really. pounds. Not that impressive. And he's like, <laughs> 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 he's like almost uh, half the weight, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, almost. <laughs> like small, like shorter too, right? So not four sixty. Still, how tall is so he? So much weight, though. Mm. Don't count. <laughs> so much weight. Though. It's so funny because it's like a long pause, but in his face, you can be like, yeah, I already figured it out. Yeah. It's like everyone's all amazed by this. It's not amazing, dude. No. No. A high schooler squatting 900 pounds. Yeah. Uh, you block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, high schoolers. You block. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he does look shorter, though. So yeah. 462 pounds. 460 pounds. It's made for that. It's a lot of weight. Though. I mean, that's like you squatting, you know. 400? It's still 900 pounds, man. It's so much weight. It's so much weight. Six the wor- foot? Because the world... There's no... Probably. Really? The world record... Well, six, the world, a lot of that's fat, by the way. But yeah. it, the world record yeah, no shit. is... Uh, what? <laughs> like 1,100 pounds? So it's kind of pretty amazing. Uh, to be that, that young and, and moving that kind of weight is nuts. Nuts. I think that's a... That might be a weight suit, though. Is that a weightlifting yeah, yeah. suit? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Why are they talking about why it's not impressive? Yeah. He's a high schooler and they're like, he's fat. He's wearing this like Superman, Iron Man type deal suit. Yeah. He's fucking, you know what? Who cares? Yeah, dude. Let's go back to talking about Rogue Nicotine. (laughs) Yeah, dude. All right. So, anyways, I'm selling about 20 tickets for that show this week. They go back to numbers. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. They're like, that that's impressive. Yeah. You guys have five tickets sold to some show in Austin. Doesn't matter how much you can squat, dude. You'll still get shadow banned by Zuck. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. All right, this is uh, posted by The Real Jumper. It's called Brandon is really still impersonating McGregor's laugh. Let's see. <laughs> dude, if I was innocent and I felt like I was railroaded, I would flee. Well, well, what, what ethnicity? White. Because uh, because uh, because the the nor- the because <laughs> a black guy would be like they're gonna fuck me. And- Damn, I forget. I forget the McGregor laugh. To be honest, but it's I'll take your word for it. Is that exactly the same? It's Brendan doing. It's not exactly. This. It's just Brendan being a redact dude. Yeah, just copying what other people do. Even like take McGregor out of your mind and watch him laugh. Because because uh, that because the the nor- the because the <laughs> a black guy would be like they're gonna fuck me. And c- <laughs> yeah. What? I even know yeah. Why anything, would you dude? laugh before that? Is he he's doing it because he feels uncomfortable about saying something about black people, so he laughs like that? We always have to remember too that his mind is a mile a minute, dude. Right. You know what I mean? A spear a second, right? Right. We don't I mean, I would love to understand it, but yeah. he's just operating on a different level. Yeah. Life. Yeah. He's got movies we never seen playing up there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. No, you're right. I so, forgot about that for a moment. So maybe there was the best scene of that movie. He's like already seen it, but it's so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, that's my takeaway, dude. I don't know about you. And he, oh, I might, and he knows what black guys think. Yeah, he knows that. If only he knew what Asians thought. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jamal, dude. <laughs> Let's see. This one's posted by Peepee Stains in the front. It's called "The Show Ran Out of Steam Early," so I just smash cut to the end from the spot they hit the wall. <laughs> So I watched this clip earlier and it doesn't really make sense. And it's just, there's no energy in this episode whatsoever, dude. So oh, yeah. let's the just keep it the theme yeah. there. dude. Let's <laughs> see. Here. What else you got, Nick? <laughs> that feels like it. No, we got a ways to go. I think that we really? only did it for like 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, kids. Love you. Hey, dude. I, wait, hold on. I'm going to be in friggin' <laughs> Grand Rapids coming up here. We're going to be here. Comedy Mothership, <laughs> April 26th to 29th. <laughs> All right, kids. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Sticking my feet into the shoes without unlacing. Let's get this day started. <laughs> What's gonna happen, oh, dude? I can't get up. the water because I just I don't have enough hands. <laughs> <laughs> We're grocery shopping for another amazing cooking video. I thought he was gonna like fucking pull up at a fast food place or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. That uh, I watched. I think somebody clipped it from the YouTube, but us doing the golf commentary was so funny, dude. 
Oh yeah, that that was great. I, I really uh, I thought that came out well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, daddy. Uh, this one's posted by Successful Egg Eight Three Four Five. It's called Bapa talking to Tulsi about his hot button button issues. Hopefully, it's not the same thing we've seen already. Mm. All these all these people that we can't we don't have documentation. You just lend them in. You know, a lot of them are Chinese. <laughs> people th- when they think of border, they think Mexicans. <laughs> Mexicans aren't coming here. Mexican. The majority of them are not Mexican, yeah. no. and the American public doesn't realize that. You're allowing all sorts of people and yeah. terrorists, everybody, yeah. and it- uh, cats, people without a profile pic. Yep. Fucking um, hot Cheetos, left people, people doing the blue. Mm-hmm. They're going blue and shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why? Why are you gonna keep my question? My question for them is, why are you gonna keep doing that? Like, mm-hmm. did it work out? All these Chinese uh, cats yeah. coming in, did that go well for yeah. you? Uh, another thing, to remember, this is a comedy podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they oh, you're being serious. Yeah. Why are they talking about this? Yeah. No, the, there's no jokes. This yeah. is hilarious. Oh, they're doing it. This is like we're supposed to laugh. We're supposed to get the bit that he's doing. Why would we not be laughing? Dude? You're right. You're right. The he's doing fuck? a bit. I'm not even thinking. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> if you're right, if you're the Biden cabinet and your idea is just to get that mail in ballot. <laughs> Chin's behind him like this. <laughs> if you're the Biden cabinet, now I really want to know what he thinks a like cabinet, cabinet is. is. Yeah. It's one person. He thinks it's like the outfits that the presidents wear. <laughs> and your idea is just to get that mail-in ballot. Well, at what cost? Well, they're not allowed you're, to you're, vote. You're actually. allowing so, some terrorist in there. Well, yeah, illegal you know? aliens are not allowed to vote technically, right? But but what it is is right now there's <laughs> <sighs> hot button issues, dude. Dude, it's all about that mail-in ballot, daddy. Shop knows. Yeah, dude. Shop knows more than he's saying, dude. He's deep in it, dude. He, the cabinet, dude. They there's somebody in the cabinet tech shop. Yeah, dude. He's, he knows um, freaking someone on it, dude. I won't if say who. I was president, dude. I would open my cabinet and <laughs> fucking hawks would fly out of it. Dude. All right, I'll say who it is. Tony Blinken. He knows Tony. He knows Tony Blinken. <laughs> You're right. You would have hawks. Only hawks on your yeah. cabinet, though, dude. Yeah. Do you have? Do you want to name any of the people you'd have on your cabinet? Ian Ira Russo. <laughs> okay. I was thinking maybe like haphazard. Oh yeah, yeah like, there you go. Yeah. He'd yeah. fly out like that. Yeah. Pee pee stains in the front. Pee pee stains in the front, of dude. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, J- J- Rogan is shorty pie, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? He'd be flying out that bitch. You know? For sure. Yeah. That's it, dude. All I do is lie to you. Sean McQuarkle, maybe. No, he is not <laughs> in my cabinet, dude. He would fuck he go up. crazy. He would cause a, a fucking a civil war, war, dude. Probably, yeah, a war of some kind. Um, let's see here. All right, so this one's posted by Haphazard. It's called "He Reads the Comments Now." You mm. know who would be the president? Interesting. And my, I mean, I, w- I would see the presidency to Brian Campbell. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> I just don't want you to be president. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, in that scenario, I wouldn't be. I would be elected, and I would be immediately. Re- Replace myself with VC. And Ariel Hawani has a VP. Damn right. Hell yeah. There's dude. a ticket. Let's see here. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah. You know, there's I mean? nothing can do. And then forever, I didn't you know? even control my own thing. And now I do. And I'll reply to someone. Like if it's, if they say something, especially if it's car thing, they're like, oh, was, is it a built, mo- it's yeah, not even yeah. a built motor. And I'll be like, yeah, it is. Actually has this, this, and this. And then of course the trolls will be like, oh, I thought you don't read comments. That was post and ghost. I'm like, bitch, yeah. that was last year. I know, but the keep thing up. Like, the thing too was like, oh, get off you my nuts. Get, there is some- <laughs> get off this, my nuts. This year I'm responding. <laughs> <laughs> I read every comment. <laughs> Is he really? Maybe we should write something like, hey, big fan, see if he responds. I, I saw that he posted today, like within a minute of when I was checking Instagram. Yeah. And I wanted to write a comment so bad, but I also don't want to get blocked by him. Oh, right. You know what I mean? He didn't block me when I wrote Hagged. Remember that? Oh, Hagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I respect that. That was last year, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now he's he's taking off traction control. He's on bomb, oh, Danny. You think I'm going to get hacked for the fucks of it? <laughs> All right, so this one's posted by Hell Yeah. It's called This Series Needs to Get Picked Up by Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> False narratives. <laughs> dude. <laughs> This truck did that? Or oh, what the was chopper. That? The, chop, dro- the chopper to rescue him? <laughs> yep. Get to the chopper. 
<laughs> Brendan Chabry. He watched a uh, fluffy shortly before doing the T Fat K live. Uh, <laughs> it's a sound effects master, dude. Rick Ross DM me, and he had tears. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Ross DM me. <laughs> Everyone does. In his eyes. I'm a big gearhead. <laughs> He's DM me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a modern day superhero. Hollywood can't write this stuff. Because we'd never believe it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Very well done. Great chef clip, uh, fucking chin. chin. Um, but hopefully it doesn't get gadooshed because of the music. Um, all right, so this one's posted by Haphazard. It's called Where's All the Demon Content? Hmm. That, this guy looks different. You'd <laughs> think this would be my dad or something. Or like, <laughs> this is me and you having a baby, dude. Yeah, us together. Bald. Still slinging dick, though. Still slinging dick. And that Jane. our kid gets our fucking dream meeting Brendan Chop, dude. So hopefully someday yep. both our kids will meet them. Yep. Him. Our kid, dude. <laughs> our kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hold on, when they say chopping prices, <laughs> you can't touch these things for, you know, well over 100 MSRP. He chopped the price. We yeah. chopped the price, baby. <laughs> chopped it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Great job clip. <laughs> when I heard that you wanted a 170, I was like, man, I really wanted to go to somebody that really enjoyed it. Because sometimes it'll go to a collector and <laughs> The <cool>. chompies, dude. <laughs> I really wanted to go to somebody with a tattoo of his dead kids on his arm. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeah. It might be quiet. I've but they use it. them as art pieces. Right. Like, right. I drive my car. Yes, sir. Like, and you know this. I drive my car, so this thing will be driven. Yeah. So you can, you can make it do a wheelie or what? Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's why I bought it. Yeah, what are we doing? Have you ever been drifting or anything like that before? Donuts? No. Nope. Burnout? No. No. <laughs> let's ride this thing on Chopping the Chopping prices on demons. Oh, let's go hit a gun. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta hit a gun. Let's go hit a gun. Oh, yes. Old school. Oh, yes. Old school. Let's get it. Reggie, you're from Tobin. Number one in the nation. Oh. You just know what I'm talking about. I would rather do anything else than be locked down with those fucking demons 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we had a great meeting. Appreciate you coming out. It was great to meet you. You're the best. Thank you for everything, brother. Enjoy this monster. Yeah, Jay. thanks both you guys, man. Jay kind of looks like you right there, dude. Yeah, I'm. You know, Jay's kind of the guy I go to when I'm. I don't just ask him questions. You know, I watch his style. Be call me crazy, bro. We dye your hair. Okay. Black. All okay. Right? We just put you in a yellow fucking beanie, dude. Mm-hmm. I got a yellow beanie. And we just let the CTE do its thing, baby. <laughs> I'm seven weeks ahead of you, dude. Ooh. I got the yellow hat already. Dude, I'm Jay. Is, Jay is my guy, B. Mm-hmm. Jay. You show up with a phone. You're answering yeah. calls. Mm-hmm. Just fucking... In, and we had to lock Jay away somehow. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to say the word, but... Uh, Schmid met him. <laughs> I don't know about that. But <laughs> everything else I'm with. Yeah. Let's see here. To meet you, little man. Did you have fun? Yeah. yeah you were playing the simulator? <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Thank, Thank you, you man. Everything. Thank you. I've, I've been a car guy. Yeah. As far as like, but like documents, stuff like, like. Something about that seemed real feminine to me, my boy. <laughs> I meant to say painted, my boy. <laughs> the painted narrative. Um, all right, let's go to this clip now, dude. It's called, it's a prom, but it's not nonstop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what he says. It's posted by Haphazard. Let's see this, dude. Jesus Christ, he just keeps going, dude. Yeah, he, just he just goes. goes. I feel off. like we need to figure out more stuff to solve than serial killers and pedophiles. I mean, it's a problem, but it's, you know, it's not like non-stop yeah like there's some other shit we should figure out first. i think pedophilia and is is way worse it's way more than we can bear like actually, yeah, pedophilia is a bigger problem than serial killers yeah. for sure <laughs> yeah 100 percent. and and we probably 100%. all know we know one. Oh, no. really dude, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh my god dude. Oh, hilarious dude yeah 
You know, I'm sure they'll solve both things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the TFAK is about fixing problems. <laughs> All right. I'm going to skip this clip here. Um, let's see here. This is uh, Bapa projects his speech insecurities onto rinks posted by Money Loan 1864. <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> Today, Junior, yep. want to spice things oh. up? Right into the bedroom. Joy okay. Moy. And it's science packed. Dude, that's what I was going to say. It's Joy okay. Moy. And it's science packed. Dude, that's what I was going to say. It's natural. It's backed by science. They're sexual performance boosters like a pre workout, like Brian said, but for the bedroom. There it is. It's fantastic. If you want to try it out, all right, blood vessel, <laughs> tissue health, all that stuff, healthy blood pressure, yeah. get that firm wiener going. It helps your general erectile function. Today, Junior, yep. want to spice things up in the bedroom and boost your sexual performance and do it naturally without the nasty prescription drugs? We got a special offer for your wiener. Go to usejoymode.com slash fighter. Enter the code fighter at checkout for... Today, Junior, want to spice things up in the Brandon. Brandon, not good. Not good no bueno, dude. Not That's bad. why we got this clip right here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? You seen this? He'll wanny, dude. Posted by Bubba Dreams of Gumbo. Today, Junior, speak. <laughs> Let's see here. But the lowest common denominator is always, oh yeah. You can't, you know, you, you you're not man enough to fight. Oh, you want to go toe to toe? You won't say this to my face. I bet, I bet, I, 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 double dare you to today, Junior. Speak. Oh man, dude, we just joke around here, but Helwani will fucking light you up, B. All right, done. That's it. That was okay. Sorry. When was that recorded? Four thirty-four in the morning. I just meant like I didn't mean done. Like oh, okay. I meant like you're done. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. When was that clip recorded, right? I'll You're say right. it again, dude. 4.34 in the morning. Last week in Australia, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so this is going to be posted by one usual 4460. Dude, did you ever see this clip? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, it's a back in the day bit. This is from their, their AOL show or something. <laughs> uh, but AOL? They've been that, that long? I guess. Holy <laughs> shit. That's crazy. It should be called ROL, dude, or Redax Online, dude, <laughs> right? Let's yeah. see. And that's why they call it the little man in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Action. Get out of here. Action. <laughs> Truly. Action. A, oh, <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Brendan Shaw from The Fighter and the Kid. And I'm Brian Callen from The Fighter and the Kid. You know, we have a <laughs> podcast called The Fighter and the Kid, and some people say it's the best podcast ever. Some? Try everybody, Brian. <laughs> Things are going so well, Hollywood decided to give us our own web series. Crazy, I know. In other words, we don't want to just feed people's ears. Let's... In other words, the podcast has been so successful that we want to create a visual experience. So not just for your ears, now it's for your eyes as well. Yeah, it's called Firing the Kid 3D. Whoa. But it's not 3D. If I say bat, you say... Tub. Bat? Tub? Yeah, bathtub. There's no only place in Brian Callen. That's correct. Brian's strength lies in his childlike wonder. It's all me! Good luck replacing Big Brown. Hey! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I see a fat guy with a bucket of chicken. Two men face the most hey, hey. difficult survival challenge of their lives. <laughs> the hell is that? It's a miracle. My heart is racing! Dude, that monkey, like, he read the script that they have, and he was just like, nah. He was pissed off because <laughs> yeah. it says below him. Or his a he's mad at his agent, and they just left that clip in. The monkey's like, if you ever book me on something like this again, <laughs> I'm at none of more of this monkey business. This is fucking stupid as shit. There's probably, like, tons of footage that's just so redacted yeah. from this shit. <laughs> yes. All this looks horrible. But yeah, Remember we watched some of it before, like this bit we've seen. Uh, when maybe I've seen the, so much jobs. Like, yeah. what, what happens to this one? Were they they're eating at the restaurant, trying to find like I think a boyfriend for somebody, Gosh. something like that. I that forget. sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys did some real crazy stuff. Sorry. Ah! Again. Hey, going to the company barbecue? I'm throwing it. Would somebody give me some more coffee? This has already been Ooh. through somebody. We just did a drug deal. 
cop, cop, cop. Act normal, act normal, act normal. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't act fucking wave at him. I'm not gonna wave at him. Just act normal. Ah! 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 Ah